Simon. Um, so the provided to us by the two ministers, our shareholders, on the 8th of April of 2014, um, it states in here that the design of a multi-technology mix, NBN, will be guided by the government's policy objectives of providing download data rates, and in parentheses, and proportionate upload rates, of at least 25 megabits per second to all premises and at least 50 megabits per second to 90% of the fixed line premises as soon as possible. Okay. And, and so that? Whenever that, we've asked about what does at least mean, that's a minimum, at yes. least means minimum. Uh, uh, your chair, uh, when he had your job and yourself, have been cautious. Uh, are you now saying that you are guaranteeing that there will be at least 25? So I'm cautiously optimistic that we will deliver yeah, no. 25. Well, I wanted, to, I wanted to find out why you're now cautiously optimistic. I mean, if you were to say you're building a node every 100 metres, hmm. you'd be able so to do it. I think, Senator, in, in, in So in I, I'd like to ask, have you got design rules so, that now say <clears throat> you've got to place your nodes at such a distance to guarantee at uh, the 25 minimum. So, so yes, the, the, so when we look at the technology mix that we, we're using and we look at HFC and what we believe that I'm, the design criteria... Uh, I'm interested more in the FTTN. I accept different things right, like well, so, OK, but I'm just answering your question completely in terms of getting to the, the request of 25.5 to, to everybody. We, we, can do, we believe we can do it on the satellite because it's been specified for that. We know we can do it on the fixed wireless. It's clearly demonstrated the capability there. Uh, we know we can do it on the FTTP. HFC speeds are demonstrated around the world that they can get the download speeds and we'll only be upgrading them and making it bigger. So therefore it just r r leaves the FTTN area. Just leaves the FTTN. Yeah. <coughs> and from all the tests and dimensioning and, and, and uh, design rules that we're doing, um, we identify that there's a very high probability that we should get there. Like all areas, there are some long copper loops that we'll have to work on that we think they're in the small single percentage no, and they're the ones that we're going to no, find solutions I, for. As I said, it is possible if you put a note on everybody's front lawn, you'll get 25. Without doing that type yeah, of capital. Right. So now I want to move backwards to understand. I mean, in the past, the Minister has talked about 800 metres uh, from homes. Now, that's a physical distance rather than the, the, the loops, OK? And then he's talked about an average of 500 metres. So what I'm seeking to understand is, have you given design rules that are less than 500 metres? If you have, it's a good thing. But I'm asking, have you done that? I mean, there's increasing confidence. You've now said it yourself. Mr Morrow indicated it, which is why I'm asking. Mm -hmm. uh, have you got design rules that have said you've got to be able to deliver 25 and therefore the nodes will be closer than has been previously mentioned? The design rules, as I understand them, Senator, um, uh, outline theoretically where the nodes should be um, placed to deliver the A speed. However, understanding there will be outliers, uh, once the, um, the nodes are stood, uh, we, we will address the individual cases on a case-by-case yeah, no, no, case basis. Stop, can we stop just disappearing off to the ones that are outliers? I want to talk about the norm. Okay. Mm -hmm. So what I want to know to is, have you issued an instruction that to get the at least 25 minimum, yes. that the nodes have to be stationed closer than 500 metres? Is it 400 metres? Is it 300? Because you can't know intuitively unless you've measured every lineman. So you've got to make a rough guess and an average. Mm -hmm. So are you now saying, and I'm going off the ministers, I don't know that you've ever said anything publicly before. Uh, the minister claimed on a number of occasions they'd be 800 metres from homes on average. Then he said 500 metres mm -hmm. on average. What is the average that you're designing to? Is it 300? Uh, 400? We have design rules. I don't have the... I'm not going to give Mr. you the Adcock numbers. I don't, know them. I don't want to... You're in charge of misrepresent. <clears throat> the design rules are there, Senator, to put out a model of where the nodes should be stood to deliver the speeds, but every um, ESA has different. You know yourself. Yeah, no, I do, it goes to the state point. of the copper, it goes to the age of the network. So what we do is we design to what we believe will be the most likely outcome, no, so, and then we okay. deal with well, the outliers. Let's be clear. Previous statements by the Minister were that there'd be an average, and I'll give him the benefit of the doubt on the 500, okay, which means you need X number of nodes. So mm -hmm. let's not be cute about this. It's about the number of nodes you need to purchase and deploy. So if NBN's position is we're now deploying enough nodes that we will guarantee the 25, then that's all I'm asking you to confirm. <clears throat> 
Can, can because I... that, by definition, will be more nodes than the number of nodes the minister has previously revealed. So right. I'm now asking a factual issue. There's got nothing. There's no secrecy involved. What are your design rules? What is your average? Is it 450? Is it 400? How far in are you creeping? Can, can I try on this? And Senator, we're not trying to be evasive here. And <laughs> it sounds like it from, from my side when I hear, because I think people are trying to understand your question. Can I give you just an explanation? And I think it'll get to your answer. So if you look at an average design, there's a pillar in every neighborhood. And let's say it's about 200 homes on average for what this pillar goes out and all of the copper twisted pair goes out to each of these houses out there. We are going to stand a node, a fiber to the node, next to that pillar. We're going to run the cable that goes between those two so we can connect over. Now, in terms of the speeds that the users will get, if you're close to that node, you're going to get a high speed. If you're far away from it, you're going to get a slow speed. We have done modeling and we have looked at abroad and other areas that when you hit anywhere between the 800 meter and the 1.2 kilometer uh, level, you drop below the 25 megabits per second service level. I think this is where you're going. So if somebody wants to talk about this pillar has an average of 500 or 600, that means that you can do an average speed, but that doesn't necessarily guarantee that everybody will be able to stay above the 25 megabit per second if they're beyond this 800 to 1.2 kilometer loop length. And this is the copper loop length that we're talking about. Now, we know that there, by the, some of the design information we have, that there's a number of homes that are going to fall beyond that element, and we have to put together designs to look at how we actually step that up. And is that going to be through another node? We can't say that yet. Is it going to be through some other adjacent fiber um, or, or fixed wireless applications? Or is there satellite capacity that we might be able to use to be able to service those homes? These are the things that we're working on to meet the statement of expectations and address the minimum requirements. Does that, does that answer what you were after? That well, you're you're anticipating a different question to what I'm asking, but the, the, the information is generally uh, in the ballpark, uh, but you're act I'm actually going in the other direction. You're going outwards, I'm trying to come inwards. Uh, so you're saying that you believe that 800 metres is, is the average distance and that's what you're working from? No, it, and, it, then, and then you're trying to solve the problem for further out? I, or I that uh, it's 500 metres and you're working on solving the ones further out. No, I'd, I'd use a kilometer just because, again, as Greg pointed out, you got condition of the copper, the gauge that's been used, other factors, how many taps are off of this that impact that performance um, degradation that would occur over distance. So use a kilometer. We are solving for the beyond the kilometer loop length okay. of the copper to ensure that we meet the uh, criteria. Okay. Now, I am just interested in the peak information rates you were going to tell me about as well, just as an aside. So I was just wondering if uh, you wanted to complete that answer you were going to give, Mr Simon. Uh, I wasn't going to talk about peak information rates. I was just going to talk about... Well, if if you wanted... Because we yeah, had I thought had you just started to say something and said, no, no, I'm not. Uh, but I thought that's what you were going to talk about. That's right. We'll have it on Hansard. I can get it called up and read it back to you. What's you started to even answer, and I said, no, no, I'm actually on something else, but no. I'm just interested in what you were actually going to say. I was, again, I thought, Senator, part of your question was if the issue Call of back. peak information rate versus a guaranteed information rate, and we have to do different standards to different products, and if that was your question, Mr. Simon would be the person. I'm interested, I am interested in that answer as well, okay. Mr. Simon, if you could. Um, I'm not, not clear of the question. What's the question? Oh, no, no, Mr. I... Mr. Morrow was throwing you the question. <laughs> How do we deal with peak information rate versus the guaranteed information rate in terms of our product offering to the RSPs? Right. Okay. So at the our, our our broadband service for residential services is referred to as commonly referred to as traffic class four, which is a peak information product. So when you talk about 25 megabits um, down, that does not mean that the bandwidth is nailed up. It's not a committed information rate bandwidth. So the service peaks and bursts to that 25 megabits. Um, and that's what we're providing. It's pr fairly standard industry practice and terminology that, that RSPs understand. So we, we, our commitment is to deliver 25 megabits peak information rate as soon as possible to the first port in the house.
to our net network boundary board, or the premise, I should say. Um, and um, that's, that's what we're doing for our TC4 residential broadband service. Okay, thank you.